my first part of this, this talk was very much about the existing situation with regards to outdoor activities. Uh, and, and whilst we know that there is a, a high participation rate in outdoor activities, we also know at the same time that there are huge challenges for society in this area. We know from statistics and health statistics that children are decreasingly mobile. We know that uh, the take up of outdoor activities is actually decreasing. Uh, and we might ask what the reasons for this are. Um, it can come from the way they have their education at schools, it can come from their parents, it can come from the groups they're part of, it can come from other challenges. And, and one of the fundamental challenges that we see the youth facing now is the increasing electronification of their worlds. Um, everything they do is defined around the electronics they use, the interfaces they have with their friends, whether it be WhatsApp or Facebook, the small bite-sized activities, the fact that they can get vicarious experiences in their bedroom from games, um, they can communicate with people all over the world with their games. 3D visualization is coming to the point whereby they can actually get their own um, excitement and fear and scariness from, from taking part in games. These things can be done without them stepping foot outside. So the challenge for us is how we actually find ways of, of bringing an increasingly technophile or techno so te te technolo technologyized uh, society into understanding and enjoying the benefits of our physical activities outdoors. And it's not an easy one. Um, we are looking at all sorts of ways of how we fuse the two things together, how we can attract children into the outdoors without scaring them off with physical activity. Because as I said earlier on in another meeting today, the, the idea of physical activity for somebody who is not fit is not necessarily comfortable or particularly pleasant. The starting point is quite difficult, there is an obstacle to get over. So finding ways of actually um, creating the links to the world that they know and they live in and their normal lives uh, and, and bridging that with the outdoor world will become increasingly important for us as we move forward. But the challenges are there um, and, and it's a challenge for us within our industry, within the, the instructor side of the industry. But as a, as a part of society, we also know that if we don't do this, the cost to society in terms of healthcare, in terms of type 2 diabetes, in terms of health, uh, heart disease, we know that society as a whole will actually suffer quite considerably unless we find a way of, of creating um, access to activity for young people. And, and I haven't even touched on the psychological health issue because we also know from various studies that, um, that being active in a natural environment has a very positive psychological effect on people. So, so we, we, we have huge reasons to want to, to try and, and encourage young people to get outdoors and we need to really think very carefully about how we bring all our resources together, how we as an industry, the branded industry, how the education industry, how the regional development agencies can all find ways of working together to actually put across the, the benefits and the advantages and the sheer amazing joy of being outdoors.